Hey, I am so excited. We are having our five year anniversary and I wanted to celebrate with giving away cute flamingos. I'm so excited. So if you want a chance to win a flamingo, I'm gonna pick a winner in the coming weeks. Um, go ahead and comment, say hi. And if you are a part of Pink Party Headquarters, which by the way, we have three flamingos for you to meet and we have named them, okay? So we have three new family members. So I can't wait to show you what they are. Okay, so we have one here. This one's name is, well, actually I'll tell you this one's name at the end. Hi, Faye, hi, Jen. Um, so we have some new family members I wanna introduce you to and we're going to be painting flamingos today. So if you wanna see a full tutorial, Stay tuned because we're going to be painting them the whole time. Please let me know where you're from and how long, if you are a part of Paint Party Headquarters, how long you've been a part because this is our five year anniversary. And I know some of you have been with us since the beginning. Okay, so my name is Heidi and I teach you how to make money teaching paint parties. And we have Betsy, Henrietta, and Three Toe Tommy here. We have three new family members and I want to introduce you to them. And then I'm going to be picking three of you in a couple of weeks to win a little mini version of Henrietta, Betsy, and Two Toe Tommy. So me, Bobby, and Pixie all guessed one. And I bet you can guess which one guessed, which one named which one. So again, this one's Henrietta, this one's Betsy, and this one's Two Toe Tommy. <laughs> so let us know. Let us know which one you like or which one you think Bobby named, which one you think I named. And um, Jen has been with me for five years. Oh my gosh, Jen, thank you so much for trusting me. And I am so excited to paint with y'all today. And um, Pamela's been with us for two years, loves flamingos. And um, we have, let's see, and um, Faye is since March. Awesome. Okay, so what we're doing today is we are not only celebrating, let me go ahead and get my time lapse going. We're not only celebrating, but we are, um, I'm showing you how to take a canvas that may have a tracer from a paint party that I did not use the whole time. You think I named the, the Betsy? I didn't Pixie name the Betsy one. <laughs> That's awesome. Tuto Tommy was Pixie's pick. Oh, that's a good guess, Shay. But it wasn't. Ah, that's so funny. Yes, Tammy, you're right. Bobby picked the two, the three toe Tommy one. Yep, that's so true. So true. And um, let's see, Jen says, um, I just joined in April. That is awesome. Okay, so I'm excited. I'm gonna actually use three color pinks, an electric pink, a coral, and a vintage pink. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to like paint over what I got going on right now. Um, yeah, totally, that's so funny. And um, I'm gonna paint over what I got going on right now. And let me kind of point this down a little bit so y'all can see. And then we're just gonna see if I can do a good job. I have a kind of plan of what I want, but sometimes our plan doesn't always work out, does it? And sometimes we gotta be willing to change it up during. So we're gonna see if that happens. So I'm kind of mixing these three and I just wanna get kind of my sunset at top. And then I'm gonna add some water and some, well, this is kind of my sky too. So I'm just blending these in. All right, and let's get some water down here. So this is a Calypso blue. Calypso blue. And as you are commenting today, I'm going to actually pick one of y'all that is commenting to send you the cute little mini versions of the flamingos in celebration of our five year anniversary for Paint Party Headquarters. So as you are commenting, as you're, um, you know, commenting on each other's, all of that good stuff. And um, again, we're all about kindness here, about encouraging each other. We don't want any um, any ugly comments, right? Hello, Cindy. Oh, I know electric pink and coral is so pretty, especially for this time of year. So a lot of times people ask me, what do I do with all of my canvases, my painted canvases, if I've over and um, traced? So like this is one that I traced too many canvases for, which I, y'all, I always just, and I, let me know if you do this too, but I always, always make sure 
to have an um, extra canvases traced because you never know, like it's so much easier to go, oh, here you go versus, oh my gosh, let me frantically trace one right before there. Oh, Colette, that's awesome. So cool. She's been following for two years. That's amazing. Thank you, Tanya. And um, Henrietta is my favorite flamingo. Well, Tammy, that's the one I named was the Henrietta. <laughs> Henrietta is the one that I named. So that was my, my cute name for that. So we all got to come up with our own name. And then, um, yeah, so Pixies was Betsy. Um, let's see. Um, Betty says, I'm so glad I joined. I'm working on getting paint party stuff together to start. Oh, that's awesome. And remember, the way I like to teach people when you're doing paint parties, and again, I know it's against popular belief, but the way I like to teach people is to have a profit every party. So go ahead and book your party before you go buy everything. And I know that sounds like counterintuitive. I know that sounds like, oh my gosh, I got to have everything ready. And you don't. Remember, just do a practice party right off the bat. That means you can have two or three people at your house, or you can, you know, go to a restaurant and teach with just a couple of people. And just to get out there, just to go out there. Hi, Lisa. Hi, BFF. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of this Calypso blue and a little bit of this crystal blue to the edges. Um, and the reason why you want to do that is a lot of times it'll get you out of your own way. Now, how many of you have ever, like, I know, for example, if you've ever gotten like a certificate or a degree or something like that, a lot of times, like, the pursuit of getting it is like, okay, I can do this. I'm going to get this. I have this, you know, goal or whatever. But then once you've actually finished the pursuit, and let me know if this has ever happened to you. Once you've actually finished the pursuit of getting it, then you got to take action. Then it's like scary. I'll tell you an example. Okay. I really want to get my health back up. And I know I shared this openly. I had a hysterectomy a few years ago or no, a few months ago, not a few years ago, a few months ago, back in February. And I had a hysterectomy and they also took out my um, appendix. And I really wanted to like start walking again, start getting like and um, start just getting more healthy, all of that kind of stuff, right? Like just, you know, start to feel better. Cause for so many years I was like, I was just having so much pain and I was feeling really bad. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to join a gym. <laughs> okay. So here's what I did. My daughter joined Planet Fitness and I was like, you know, I've been a part of the Y before, but I think I'm going to join Planet Fitness to try to go with Pixie. Then what happened was, I went one time, the time that I signed up, <laughs> the only time I went was the time that I signed up. But what it has done for me is it's gotten me to go. I don't know if it's like this thing where I feel guilty or what, but now I'm walking every single day. So I get up, go out my front door and I walk at least a mile every single day. And so, um, so I don't know, maybe that membership is just making me like take action. I don't know what that is, even though it's not actually at the place. Um, but the reason I want to share that with you is I think sometimes like when it's finally time to actually do something, we start to scare ourselves or we start to get nervous or we start to get freaked out or we can't do it. Right. And then we start to go, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if this can happen. But if you just take action before you're terrified, before you talk yourself out of it, with a, with a practice party or also known as a guinea pig party, you can actually kind of trick your brain and take the action before you start to freak out. And the thing I want to just remind you of always is even if you're like starting to teach your paint parties right now, you are showing everybody, you are showing everybody that you are going to be the paint party person for fall. And remember, fall time, you can make as much money as you want. Like, you can make a teacher's salary teaching paint parties. Hey, BFF Carrie, that's awesome. Oh, my gosh, Betty. She said, I used to go at 4.30 every morning. I am not a morning person. So my walks are more around 10 a.m., 9.30. Today's was like at 8.50, and that's just because I woke up before my alarm. 
my alarm is a 9 a.m. alarm. <laughs> so I'm really trying to do that. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you, Shay. I love that. So as you come on, just a heads up. We um, have three new family members. We have Henrietta, we have Betsy, and we have Tuto Tommy here up at the top. And we are in celebration of our five-year anniversary of Paint Party Headquarters. We are giving away little mini versions. So I'm going to go back in a couple of weeks and pick some of y'all that have been talking and commenting and saying sweet things and doing emojis, all of that good stuff. And you're going to get a mini version of Henrietta, two Tom, two to three toe Tommy or um, Betsy and me, Bobby and Pixie named them all. Let's see. Um, let's see. I have no idea. I run with it and falls and I'm on to the next thing. I'm driving my husband crazy. Joy, welcome to being a creative. <laughs> you are totally normal. <laughs> she says, I have the opposite problem. I feel like I'm grasping at straws. I have no idea. And then I run to the next thing, but I'm driving my husband crazy. Yeah. Can we all agree we're like squirrel, squirrel, right? We're all like that. It's okay. You welcome to a, a very, very, very supportive creative group right now. Okay. We are, you are with the right people for sure. Cause that is what we do. That is what we do. Um, Colette says, I've been teaching paint parties for two years now and I love teaching them. Oh, I love that. Can we just get a amen if you love teaching some paint parties? It is so much fun. So much fun. Yeah, I think everybody agrees. Totally squirrel. <laughs> Very true. Um, all thanks for congratulating on the five years. I know. I cannot believe that. I was trying to get a cake together, but, you know, it just wasn't happening. And y'all know I don't cook. So I was like, I could go get a cake by the time I did all that. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give away fun flamingos with hats because they have party hats on so they're ready to party and um, so yeah so anyway so i got my kind of ocean in here just the background of it i'm gonna try my best to make this look a little bit like and um, some waves so we're gonna see if i can do that okay don't judge it's a work in progress work in progress we're gonna see if i can do this a little bit i'm just gonna go with the big brush i'm gonna be a little bit just kind of crazy just gonna be a little crazy and see if it works, okay? We're gonna just try with the big brush, be a little crazy, and see what I can get done here. So I'm just taking the chip brush, kind of bringing it up. Oh, I've been teaching for four years, love creating. Oh, that's awesome, love the new designs for parts. Good, yeah, we have, for all of y'all in Paint Party Headquarters, we have so many new fall designs. Um, I don't know if you have seen them yet, um, but they are gorgeous. I'll show y'all here in just a minute. If you hadn't seen them yet, the designs coming for, for Paint Party Headquarters are pretty epic. I'm just going to try to make this look like waves. I know. It might not turn out. This is one of those creating on the fly, and we're going to see if it turns out or if it doesn't. So please, if you could put in the comments, you won't judge yet. <laughs> this may be a winner. This may be a non-winner. We're not sure. We're not sure yet. It's a flamingo, or let's flamingo. I like it. We're gonna see. This may work. This may not. I don't know yet. I'm just trying. I'm just trying some new fun kind of waves. Let's see if I like it. See if it gives it some texture. Let me get some of this pink back in there. Let me get a little bit of my pinks in here. I like that that um, vintage pink. It's like it feels like cotton candy. Just doing a little fun, whimsical. We're gonna see again. We don't know. We just don't know till we try, right? We don't know till we try. I'm gonna put a little bit more of that pop of pink. This is one of those days where I just wanted to like paint and experiment and see if it works. Sometimes we're so like, this is red, this is purple, this is green, whatever it is, right? And sometimes you just want to like play. Sometimes you just want to go, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can't, <laughs> but I don't know until I can. 
Angela, oh, Angelica says, been with PPHQ now for three years and always love all the new designs. Oh, thank you so much. I, we really try hard for y'all. That's um, that's a big deal is our, we're always like, how can we get the best stuff for y'all so that you can make money doing your painting parties? Um, okay, so we got some stuff here. I'm going to try to put in a big old flamingo here. Wish me luck, y'all. Add some yellow in the sunset. It would make it pop. Oh, good idea, Tanya. Let me do that. Let's just do that, Tanya. Okay, while I'm getting the yellow, I can show y'all my flamingo parties. Look at how cute they are. They're so tall. I love them so much. This one's Henrietta. This one's Betsy. And this one's Tuto Tommy. Okay, so I need yellow. Good idea. I'm gonna go with the sunset gold. Eh, yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay, sunset gold. Good idea. And um, have you ever combined line dancing and a paint party? I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it, but I want to combine Dolly Denim and Diamonds and Dancing. Oh my gosh, Joy. That is so cute. That's a great idea. And um, we actually at Paint Party Business Live, we have um denim and diamonds and two-step dancing that we're gonna be doing which I'm really, really excited about. I'm gonna add a little bit, I might need a little bit more pink with that. Maybe the sunset gold wasn't the right. Eh, it might be, it might be okay. What do y'all think? What do y'all think about that touch of yellow? A little bit better? Okay, all right, so I'm gonna bring up a flamingo and we're just gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what happens. Um, oh, you're welcome, Tanya. Thanks for the suggestion. I'm all about, when I'm creating a painting like real time, I am all about y'all's suggestions <laughs> for sure. Okay, so let me turn it this way. I'm gonna turn it a little bit like this. And then what I wanna do is put a big flamingo here. So I'm just gonna start with kind of a white and pink um, because flamingos just kind of have this head and then they just kind of almost like a, and then they have this big old body, big old body with their wings. Pixie's going to go to the zoo with her friends. We were actually, yesterday we were practicing her driving to Fort Worth. I only had a few chest pains. Um, anybody who's, you know, training a teen to drive in a bigger city than your small town, you know the pain that that can cause. <laughs> But she did okay. There was one time where, because um, she wants to go to the, the zoo and the botanical gardens with her friends. And I was like, you don't have Fort Worth unlocked yet. Like, you gotta, you got to um, practice. And so um, I'm usually the one that's not doing the, lar the longer drives with her because I get, I get very, very anxious. Um, and I get nervous. And then we fight. And it's a whole deal. And so... Um, so everybody's been kind of busy. And so I was like, I really want her to have independence. Like that's one of my big things is making sure my, my daughter has independence. And so I was like, okay, we'll go. And so we went yesterday and I was just like, I said, you need to turn here. It's turn. You're supposed to turn. And she ignored me. And then we ended up like 15 minutes in the traffic. Does anybody, <laughs> does anybody know that feeling? I was like, I told you to turn left and you did not. And so now we were stuck forever in traffic for like, an, well, it's like 30 minutes, but still it was just, oh, I was like, I know, I know you think you're right all the time. Cause I think I'm right all the time, but you're, we're not, we're not right all the time. So that was kind of a, um, a learning lesson for her yesterday. And yeah, they will scare the crap out of you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cindy, where do you live in Texas? My brother and niece live in Fort Worth. Oh my gosh, we're right outside of Fort Worth. And um, Betty says, I'm trying to teach my, um, my, let me see, what was that? I'm trying to teach my 15 year old to drive. Is that what she said? I think I missed it, it went fast. I feel you, I can't imagine driving with my 15 year old in Fort Worth. We are north of, Detroit and that's scary enough. Oh my gosh, so crazy. Um, and he says, Oh, I feel for you, except that would be my hubby. A few more years for my daughter. Yeah, it's like when they start driving, it's like a whew, it's a it's a new different kind of new different kind of worry that you didn't know about until it happens, and you're like, Oh, okay, now I know what people are talking about. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. 
kind of crazy, but she did okay. I mean, I just had small chest pains, not too, too much, but small chest pains. And then we made it home safely. Um, everything was good. So she's going to try to draw, drive to the zoo by herself. And um, I'm just going to pray a lot. She's going to have to pray a lot because she's got to practice. I can't just not let her do it. I mean, she's almost 17. So it's time. It's time for her to do the zoo. Okay, so I'm adding in. So this needs to dry just a second so I can add in on there. Um, let's see. I know. And Fort Worth isn't as bad as Dallas. It's not near as bad. So, um, oh, good. Are y'all liking how the painting's turning out? I'm hoping it's, it's going to turn out okay. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of black. I'm just going to try to get my legs in here. Let me see if I can get some legs. So we have a little bit of the... Maybe a little bit more of the pink here. Okay, I'm trying to keep this part simple because when we teach it at a paint party, if it becomes a, a paint party one, when we teach it at a paint party, we want it to kind of be doable, right? So I want to try to just keep this a little simple. And sometimes it's hard when you're trying to create a painting as you're talking, as you're painting sideways. It's all a little hard. <laughs> let me let me turn it this way for a second, and then I'll put it back the other way. Okay, so. Yeah, that's much easier. Much easier when I'm not talking and going this way. So let me point it down for a minute. So I want to get some of that pink. I really like this. I really like the coral. I got a lot of coral in the sky. So I'm going to go back to that vintage pink. I mean, look at how pretty just the colors. So pretty. Oh, thank you, Tori. I want to just highlight that comment. That just makes me smile. Thank you. <laughs> so sweet. And I just had to face my fears driving in Dallas a few years ago. It was crazy. Oh my gosh, y'all. So I, so years ago this is a paint party driving story for you it's a it's a mixture and years ago so i was like the worst at driving in traffic and i remember just um being terrified like i would take every side street possible like i just did not want to drive in the freeways and so years ago i remember this was this was like a turning point for me so i had all of these parties and this is why i feel like paint parties have like totally changed my life, like seriously, totally changed my life and have helped help me in so many ways, more than just with financials, but just my confidence and so many other things. So let me know in the comments if you ever have struggled with confidence or driving in big cities or anything like that. I know a lot of us have. And, and so anyway, what happened was, um, I remember I had tons of parties within a two week time. And this was um, years ago. I was still teaching at the time. And I remember just, you know, so many parties happening in a matter of two weeks. And I was driving home from one of the parties. And I was, you know, about two hours away from one of my parties. And I had to drive through downtown Fort Worth on the way home. And again, this is a girl who was terrified of driving in cities. And for those of y'all that drive in Houston, I've done that before too. And that is a nightmare. Um, and just, you know, terrified. Right. And so here I am, it's like 1130 at night, I'm driving home and I'm kind of going through my head, how much money I had made in two weeks and um, teaching paint parties. And I remember just kind of being like, oh my gosh. And I was driving through, of course, there was no traffic at 1130 at night. But I was thinking back to like how scared I was to even get on a freeway. And here I was driving home 1130 at night, kind of like mentally counting how much money I'd made in two weeks. And it was over $12,000 in just two weeks. And I was just like, oh, my gosh, being a teacher and making, you know, not very much money and then just realizing the the power I had to like change my financial future was insane. And so I remember looking at the Fort Worth lights, just being like, this is so good. Thank you so much, God. Like the confidence I had, the 
the feeling of being able to drive wherever I want to drive and need to drive, you know, just that feeling of freedom. And I think that's one of the big things why I'm so, so particular about Pixie having that, um, that feeling of being able to drive wherever she wants to drive, being able to, to go where she wants or needs to go, because I don't want her to ever feel like I felt for so many years where, oh, I could go here, but I can't go there because I'm too scared, you know, and I never, ever, ever want her to um, not be able to go do something or whatever because of lack of fear and um, because she's not confident enough. So, so that's kind of been a big thing for me is just really trying to instill that confidence in her. And, um, but when she was about three, it was my first time driving in, in um, Houston, Texas by myself. And I remember just trying, like giving the girl in the back, she was in her car seat. And I was like, take these cheesy puffs, like giving her as much like cheesy puffs as I could just to keep her quiet and, and doing all so I could drive. And then I remember getting through traffic and I started yelling and screaming. And I was like, I did it. I drove through Houston traffic. And oh my gosh. I started flipping out and then Pixie started screaming and yelling and cheering with me. And I just thought, oh my gosh, it's so funny. She has no idea. Like, um, you know, just by taking action when you're really, really scared, um, it's so, so terrifying. So if you've ever driven through Dallas, Houston, big cities like that, um, it can be crazy. <laughs> um, oh, good, Julie. I'm glad you like it. That's awesome. Elaine says, all the time, lack of confidence. It's getting better. Grew up and still live on Long Island and have to drive through the city, Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx only a few times through Manhattan. Oh my gosh, I couldn't even imagine driving through New York City. Um, my husband one time when he was driving trucks, he actually um, ended up driving through like the underbelly of the city. And he was so terrified because his truck was really tall. He drove um, trucks for many, many years. And so um, can y'all picture Bobby as a truck driver? Isn't that cool? He used to do that for a long time. And, um, and so yeah, he was driving these trucks and he had to drive it through New York City. And he was like, flipping out so so scared and so yeah so i know like a lot of times it can be silly stuff like that but just the littlest things can bring us so much confidence and um, so so much confidence let's see and um, faye says first time driving through houston my husband broke his glasses and i had to take him to get them fixed and i was terrified but we made it i know like things like that i want y'all to for sure make sure you um you know, you can do those things, right? Because like, who knows, you might have an opportunity to do a party or um, an opportunity to go somewhere and, you know, do something cool. And I just, I want us to all like, have that confidence of feeling independent and that confidence of being able to do, you know, do the stuff you want to do. And um, so that's one of the things that have really like, I think this has been such a passion of mine of why I'm so adamant about, yes, it can be so, so powerful to um to teach paint parties and to know that you can make a difference in your family's future and family's life so if you're just now joining us we are celebrating five years of paint party headquarters and um, so if you want if you're commenting here in a couple of weeks i'm going to pick one of you to win actually i'm gonna pick three of you to win a mini version of our little celebration flamingos and we have three giant ones new to the family henrietta betsy and Two toe Tommy up here, three toe Tommy up here at the top, the Bobby name. So me, Bobby and Pixie were all part of naming them. And um, let's see. So will this be a part of Paint Party Headquarters? Um, yes. So if this turns out, yes, it will be a part of Paint Party Headquarters. So my goal always is, is if I paint a new painting live with you and it does turn out, obviously I want you to have it for Paint Party Headquarters. So I'm always kind of just experimenting. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, like the ones we always have pre-recorded, but if it works and it it's a good one, yes, of course, it will be a, a paint party headquarter design. Okay, I need to add a little eyeball right here. Usually the eye is about right there. And then let me see if I can get a little bit more shading in here. Let's see. I want some more, maybe a little bit more pink in here too. Okay, it's kind of just a fun whimsical. I don't know if it's for sure the, the exact thing I, I want for a paint party, but I kind of like it. Let me put a little bit more white in here. What do y'all think? Let me know. Do you like it? 
I don't know if it would work for a paint party too much. It has a lot of, a lot of um, kind of shading that might freak out, might freak some people out for a paint party. But I kind of like it. It's kind of fun, isn't it? Like the, the little whimsicalness of it. And I could put a little bit more pink in here. Have us a little bit more of a pink flamingo. Flamingos are very interesting birds, aren't they? Okay, I think I think we got it. And then maybe just a little bit line, a little bit of a line of white, kind of going right in here. And anybody who is watching who is in Paint Party Headquarters, make sure you tell me how long you've been a part of Paint Party Headquarters. We'll just put some little white lines in here just because I want to. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, good. Elaine says, love it. Oh, that's good. My granddaughter has the flamingo I paint. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see. Looking so pretty. Not too much. I love how it turned out. Oh, good. Yeah, I feel like this might be a tricky, a tricky one. Oh, I don't know if I like that. I don't think I like that. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take it off. I don't think I like that. 2018, Beth, you're one of the first ones. Welcome. So, so cool. Oh my gosh. You've been with us for, for almost the whole time, actually. Yeah, this is our fifth year anniversary. So if you have been with us, since May of 2018, you are one of the founders of Paint Party Headquarters, which, by the way, thank you so, so, so much. Let's see. Oh, that's awesome, Lisa. Two years. Very cool. Yeah, and we're try all we do is just try to, try to make it better and better for y'all. That's our goal is just to I wake up and go to work for you. See if we can make it better and better. Put a little bit of white in here. I don't know if I'm loving that flamingo's face. Let me see. Let me see if I can fix this flamingo's face. Okay, make sure you're commenting. And Angelica, since 2020, for three years, that's amazing. Make sure y'all do hashtag PPHQ. That would be awesome. Okay, so let me see if I can get his flamingo face a little bit better. And I kind of am liking it. The more I'm painting it, the more I'm starting to like it. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you think it'll be a good one, a bad one, a okay-ish one. I'm going to get the flamingo. A little bit of a line here. There we go. Now I'm getting my face a little bit better. Sometimes I just got to turn it towards me for a minute so I can start to, to get the face. Now let me get some white around his eye. Love the colors. Oh, good. Yeah, let me know if y'all think this would be a good one for, for paint parties. I feel like it could be a little tricky. Put a little bit of white around his eye. A little bit more white in the okay thoughts glitter needed of course let's see very colorful scream summer yeah that's what i was thinking it might be like a fun little kind of summery i feel like it needs a crown on its head that would be so adorably cute do y'all think I should put a crown or am I the only one? <laughs> this painting would give the painters so much freedom, they could, they, which they love. The flamingo would be teachable, would be the teachable part. Great combo. Yeah, that is true. It kind of just has some fun whimsy. And um, I do think, because I just, when you start playing with the painting, I I do feel like I just want to, I said, when you play with the painting, you just sometimes feel like you can't stop. So I feel like I do want to like make this almost feel like sea foam kind of. So with just some brighter, brighter dabs of my white. 
I feel like that's kind of sprucing it up a little bit. Starting to like him. Starting to like him. What do y'all think? Yes? No? Maybe? Yeah, I think you're right, Annie. I think this would be kind of a fun, like, whimsical freedom kind of painting. Oh, good, Mary Lynn. She said, yeah, it's making it pop. Now I think maybe if I take a little bit more of this white, I can make it pop a little bit more. It's so, the flamingo has a lot of, a lot of paint on it, so it needs to dry, but then you go back and add these pops of white. I think it could really, really make a, a good statement. Is that too much white? Maybe, I don't know. Oh my gosh, maybe too much white. We'll see. It's like when you're teaching your paint party people, you're like, remember, you got to stop looking at it and go away from it and come back to it. It's kind of the same thing, right? We have that same, same problem. Let's see. And then I think I want to just real quick, I just want to add a little bit of coral and then we'll be done. Okay. A little bit of coral and then we'll be done. Oh man, that coral is so pretty. Okay, I think I'm going to call it done. Let's see. Okay, so let's see if our other flamingo approves. Do you approve, Three Toe Tommy? Yeah, I think he does. I think he likes it. Okay, so this whole Facebook Live and YouTube video was brought to you so that you can see a cute flamingo hopefully being painted before your eyes. This is what we did today. And then for those of y'all that are commenting, I wanted to introduce you to our three new family members. We have Henrietta. We have Henrietta's here, the hot pink. We have Betsy, the pixie name, the light pink. And then we have Three Toe Tommy, the coral color flamingo that Bobby um, named. So these are our new family members. And in honor of our five year anniversary, we are giving away cute little flamingo ornaments to match. So this one, of course, is Three Toe Tommy. This one is Henrietta. And we're going to pick people that are commenting. And then this one is Betsy, the one that Pixie named. So we're going to pick someone. Um, oh, yeah. So these are all the names. So we're going to pick one of y'all and three, actually three of y'all to win one of our little mini versions of our new family members. So I hope that you win. Good luck. And make sure you comment. I'll come back to this thread in a couple of weeks and pick out three of you to that way to give some people as they watch the re, the replay. All right. I hope you are having a great day. Let me know what you think of the new painting. If it's good, if you think it would be great for paint parties, all of that good stuff. And of course, any of y'all in paint party headquarters, you know the drill. If you are in paint party headquarters, you can use my designs. Oh, and let me show you the new fall designs. So um, we have a lot of new fall designs happening. These are available for you to already go and book your parties if you are a part of Paint Party Headquarters. Remember, to use these designs to make money, you have to be a part of Paint Party Headquarters. So I want to show you this one I added glitter to. Isn't that so cool? I love this one so much. And this one could be used for Christmas. It could be used for summer. It could be used for any. All you have to do is change the orange color out. That's all you have to do. And this could be literally made for any season. Then, and for all of y'all in Paint Party Headquarters, I've already posted all of these. I don't have them filmed yet. But if you know you can paint them, you can go ahead and start booking these for your paint parties. This one, I almost did not finish. I almost threw it away. And I'm so glad I didn't because now it's one of my favorites. Okay, so this is really, really fun. Really fun. And then this one right here, three witches. So it could be kind of like a hocus pocus without using hocus pocus stuff. And then you could do that one. Again, this is for Paint Party Headquarters use. This is one of my favorites I have ever done in my life. I'm obsessed with this painting so, so much. It makes me so, so happy. So happy. <laughs> I love this painting so much. This one is going to take a good two and a half hours to teach at a paint party. And then the other new fall painting. I loved painting this. Oh my gosh. So, so much. I love painting this. Thank you, Richard. 
And this was one of my favorites to paint. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look, I used a palette knife at the bottom. I used a really, really cool new color that I've never used before. And I'm going to be teaching this one again to in Paint Party Headquarters as well. So, um, so yes, yeah, so for all of you that have been a part of Paint Party Headquarters, again, we are celebrating five years. I, I can't even believe it. Like the time has flown by. And for all of y'all that have, um, yeah, Julie, that's my favorite movie too. <laughs> I just realized that there are like four books for that. I'm so excited. I bought them the other day when I went for um, Mother's Day. And um, so anyway, I'm so, so excited. For all of y'all that are a part of PPHQ, make sure you do hashtag PPHQ. Let me know how many years you have been um, with me. I would love to just um, see and read through the comments in a little while. And then again, for all of y'all that uh, don't know what Paint Party Headquarters is, it's where I teach you how to make money teaching paint parties. And I give you designs and marketing and all of that as well. We um, open the doors publicly a couple of times a year. And um, so be on the lookout for that. And then for all of y'all commenting, I'll go back in and pick winners for our three new family members, the Henrietta, the um, Betsy, and the Three Toe Tommy. So those will be coming here in a couple of weeks. So I hope you all have a great day. And thank you so much for helping me celebrate the five-year anniversary. And for all of you that are a part of Paint Party Headquarters and trusting me and my team to help you so, so much with your Paint Party business, so happy that, that you trust us. All right, y'all have a great day. And hopefully this one will be a great one that Paint Party Headquarters can use for your parties.